What is up guys, it's Greenox bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 video and I've actually decided to uh, keep my Moab's Tips video till tomorrow so that will be coming out tomorrow so don't worry and uh, I'm playing a bit of the uh, campaign here which is something I haven't really done before um, this is the first mission and I had a bit of fun on it you know it's pretty fun and I died once because it was kind of my uh, fault basically I was shooting at the helicopter when you're up top on the building I was shooting at the helicopter with a oh, XM25 and you're supposed to destroy it with a predator missile so I died then and I was like open the door but anyway so I think this MW3 campaign is really fun uh, the Black Ops campaign was really fun as well so I like both them campaigns and if you want me to bring the next level of the campaign out then tell me and I will um, but yeah I'm just having a bit of fun at the moment and I find some if you want to know where there's a piece of oh what's it called oh what's it called um, you know where you can pick up like the laptops and stuff uh, yeah, enemy intel. If you don't know where enemy intel is, you probably just saw it or something. But anyway, so boom, boom, boom. Keep getting the subs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you like uh, me bringing out the campaign and stuff, tell me because I need to know what you guys like. Someone said bring some sniping clips out. Uh, at the moment, uh, before you said that, I'm actually in the middle of making a montage and I don't make many montages so don't expect it to be that good it won't be like pro but yeah so if you haven't played the campaign on MW3 I would advise you to because it's actually a really good campaign and you get the storyline if there's another MW coming out I'm not sure if there will be but if there is you get the storyline and like the Black Ops 2, no, the, not Black Ops 2 campaign, the Black Ops campaign, um, that that was pretty good, you know, it wasn't too bad, well actually it was pretty fun I, I suppose, but this one is, I reckon gives Black Ops a run for its money, but the only thing is I don't like is you have too many near misses to death and it's like a bit unrealistic, but I don't mind that, like, I'll give you some examples like, there's that one way you're falling in the elevator and the elevator is like hanging on by a tiny bit that's near the end and then there's like where um, is it you fall off a roof or something I'm not sure I'm not too sure but there's a couple of like near death experiences in the game and I think that's a bit unrealistic because I can understand them putting like one or two in but when they have about five it gets a bit like oh yeah you know what's gonna happen you're gonna live and who was that guy who died I can't was it Soap who died and I was like no he was like one of my favorite characters oh and the XM25 online I don't really like it online and actually I suppose it's alright but I don't really use it because it's, it's a piece of crap in my eyes anyway it might not be in your eyes but yeah and I picked up this AK by the way because I don't really like the um, oh what is it the oh what's that soul rifle called I keep forgetting everything today it's really bad um, and what is it oh M4 I want that's it that is the gun oh my god slap yourself in the face Ah, that one actually hurt. <laughs> nah, but... Yeah, the M4A1. I nearly forgot it again. I swapped the M4A1 because I don't really like that gun. Not in the campaign anyway. Um, I prefer the AK because it's better. And So if you want the second campaign thing to come out, then just say it. I'll bring it out. And yeah. Keep telling people to subscribe. And thank you for watching my videos. And I'm surprised I'm not like, like, uh, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised what? I'm, I'm confusing myself now. 
I'm surprised that I'm not just saying that as like every word because I say it so much. But anyway, so give me your feedback, what you think about the campaign, and if you like it, then tell me. If you don't like it, then tell me. If you do like it, then tell me. I said that twice, but still. And I'm, you know, I'm a pretty big noob at the campaign. I'm not that good at the campaign. I'm good online, but not very good on the campaign, which sounds pretty weird. But, I don't know. But for probably uh, right at the end, I put my headphones on. I was like, oh, yeah, I can't hear any sounds. So that's why I kept, like, not seeing enemies to start with, because I couldn't hear them. And I wasn't really reading the writing, so I didn't know what was going on. I was a bit like, there. I have completed the campaign on my other account. On this one, it's about 30% done. And uh, when I get a YouTube partnership, um, I might be doing some live streams. So I might do some live streams on campaigns and different stuff, like for Black Ops 2. So make sure you come watch them because I really want to do live streams. I don't know why. And I was going to blow myself up there, but then I was like, oh, you've got to run away, mate. Um. But yeah, and I just want to say one thing. Uh, why I don't know why my like commentary has been a bit laggy. I don't know like why or anything because it's been a bit like say I'm like running around and then I'm like I'm using the AK-47, right? And then like two either two minutes later or two minutes before it will like say that, but I don't get how it does that because. I do the commentary over the top of the video and like I don't know it's just weird because it shouldn't do that because it's still the same length if you get what I mean like if I start at the start and say blah 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 and like two minutes into it I should be on the two minute mark of the video uh, because the commentary is the same length as the video which is, is kind of weird I'm probably confusing you but like I don't know why it's doing that it's a puzzle, so if uh, you're up to the same point as me, which you should be, uh, I die here because I was trying to shoot the helicopter with the XM25, and I was like, no! And if you haven't played the campaign, I'm sorry that I ruined the bloody uh, thing for you, saying that Soap died, and stuff like that, but, you know, you should have played it by now, because if you haven't, you're a pretty big noob, just saying, even though I love noobs. Nah, it doesn't matter if you played it or not. It's up to you if you want to play it, up to you if you don't. You know? But I think it's pretty good, like, how they got quite a bit of action packed into it. And, like, I love all this thing about the sort of, like, that um, gas shit. What they tried to gas the whole city with, you know? Um, that was pretty good. And how they, for the first time, like, actually got cop cars and made it like Europe like the whole of Europe like you went to different countries like normally it's like I don't know Russia America and stuff but they actually done like Europe and different stuff which is is pretty good like just because I'm from England I don't mean that but like it was just good to have somewhere different for once you know and I hope in Black Ops 2 that the campaign is going to be really good like well I hope online is going to be better but apparently I've heard that they're having a horse kill streak which is a whore kill streak what no a horse kill streak um, where you like go on horses and I don't know jump into the helicopter you ready ah! and uh, yeah so I hope the game is really good because I looked at, I, I went into this shop called EB Games which they have in Australia and I was like looking on the sh shelf and then right in the middle was like Black Ops 2 I was like <gasps> mad I was like nearly dying because I saw it there and I was like please give it to me right now but they couldn't because it's illegal nah it's not even it's probably not even finished yet the whole game so you know, and I hope uh, 
I reckon in MW3 there's less like glitches and stuff than there was in like MW2 and Black Ops, which there's you know they can't get every glitch right because it's it'll be really like difficult to do that. Maybe in the future they might, but it's like uh, but there's not been so many hackers and stuff like you can go on like Black Ops 2 no Black Ops I mean not Black Ops 2 you can go on Black Ops now and there's like 15 prestige hack aimbot, different stuff like that, because, um, I went on there and there's people like, oh, I've done the 15 prestige hack and all that, and, like, I looked at their time of play, it was, like, 20 minutes and they had 15 prestige, and I was like, piss off, and then I went into, um, I think it was Domination on Nuketown, and there was, like, this guy of aimbot, and he was, like, standing at the back, and he was just like, Shh, and he was shooting through every building with his M60, and you you watch the kill cam, you can see red squares everywhere, like whoosh. like uh, if you've ever been on a what's oh what are they called what are them um, sentry guns called the a sort of mobile sort of things remote sentry that's it if you remember the remote sentry like red squares that's what it looks like for his kill cam and he saw everyone like that and it was like aimbot aimbot and yeah but I don't mind. At least they don't do it on the sort of new games. Like, I don't mind if they go COD 4, COD 5, Modern Warfare, Black Ops. I don't mind if they do that. But, yeah, it does ruin the game a little bit. But at least they don't do it on, like, MW3 or something. So that, that would just piss me off if people were doing, like, aimbot and stuff on MW3. Even though there's probably someone out there doing it, but still. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Tell me if you like the campaign and stuff. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Lala. Lala.